My name is Emily Kern, Math Instructional Coach in Austin, Texas. Let's look at how to find the volume of a triangular prism based on the volume of a smaller, similar triangular prism. When we say two similar triangular prisms, what we mean is that they have the same shape and that their sides are larger or smaller proportionally, which means if you double one side, you double them all, or triple one side, you triple them all, or if you half them, you half them all. That's what similar means. A triangular prism is a 3D figure with two parallel bases that are triangles. The length of the triangle is three centimeters in the small prism and six centimeters in the larger one. That tells us that we have the scale factor of two because we multiplied the length of the small one by two to get the bigger one. In order to find the volume, we have to multiply the length, the width, and the height by two. So basically, you take the scale factor and cube it and multiply that times the original volume to find the new volume. The original volume was 60, the scale factor was two, and since we have to multiply the length times two, the width times two, and the height by two, that means we're really multiplying that volume by eight. That's what two cubed is. So 60 times eight is 480 centimeters cubed. That would be the volume of the larger, similar triangular prism. To find the volume of a triangular prism based on the volume of a smaller, similar prism, all you need to do is take that smaller volume, multiply it by the scale factor cubed, and that will get you the new volume of your triangular prism.